20 more Minecraft build ideas for when you're bored. Number 1. Rainbow Sheep Farm So I actually showed this build in the last episode, but some of you guys got mad in the comments that I didn't actually show you how to build it, so here we go. So you're gonna need a few materials, but the first step is to get that barrel placed down and then the color of the wool right above it. And then pretty much you want a hopper facing into that barrel, and then you want to place a hopper minecart on top of that. You also want to destroy that rail underneath, because later we're going to be pushing a dirt block into it, you'll see. Continuing with the build, you can outline the top with a colored glass of your choice. And then you want to place a dispenser facing toward that open area. Inside the dispenser, you're going to be putting a bunch of shears in. And underneath the dispenser, you want an observer facing the hopper minecart block. Then put a redstone there. And then for the final step here, we're just going to place a dirt block and use a piston and redstone block to force that into the block below it. Now to check if this works, you can just throw an item real quick down into that grass and it should show up in the barrel. And then at this point, you can just put the sheep that you want in and it should be good to go. It's fully automatic. Number two, bigger doors. So you can see here, I've pretty much just outlined the spruce door with a bunch of spruce trap doors and it kind of gives the illusion of making the door look grand and a lot bigger. I use this in a lot of my builds as it just makes it feel more majestic, you know? And it's also super simple. Number three, a space station. So a lot of people just leave their end biomes as is and they don't really come back here, but I love to go back to the end biome after I beat the ender dragon a few times and kind of create my own little base out here. Bonus points if you can get a villager up here. Yeah, so in this example here, I kind of try to make a little village recreation. And then obviously this is going to be like a pretty long-term project. I never really finished this. This is from an old world of mine, but here's just some inspiration for you guys. Number four, ladder design. So as you can see here, you can actually put ladders on top of trap doors, which gives this this really cool thin effect. And I think it just looks really clean and it would especially look cool if it was inside like a big wooden mansion. Usually we're used to seeing these ladders on thick, full blocks, but when they're on these thin trapdoors like this, it just makes it look way cooler. Number 5. Upgraded Paths So if you have time and the resources, you should definitely go about and upgrade all the paths in your world to make them look super detailed like this. Take into account the coarse dirt, the elevation changes with the slabs and trapdoors, as well as the lanterns. Number 6. Dog Pen if you have a cute dog in your world, and I know you do, this design only takes one scaffolding and four birch trapdoors. Arrange them like so and you get a really sleek dog pen. Number 7. Bedside Lamp This bedside lamp design is really cool because it utilizes a pot which has a perfect connecting texture to the bell. Number 8. Unique Floor Patterns To spruce up some of your indoor areas, consider implementing one of these cool floor patterns that you can use with stripped logs. Number 9. Fuzzy Rug So did you know that you can actually use coral and plant them inside as long as you hide the water underneath using a slab? This gives the coral block a way to survive so it can stay red and fuzzy forever. Number 10. Balconies Using this really simple design that just includes a lectern and a trapdoor on top, you can create really cool, realistic looking balconies to make any outside deck area of your house just look a lot nicer. Number 11. Potted Trees So using a composter and filling it up to the top, as well as putting a pot with a cactus and then stacking some leaves on top of it, creates a really cool looking mini tree that you can slap anywhere inside your house for decoration. Number 12. Farm Plots so if you're just bored with your normal farms, try making like a plot design like this and having each plot be a different vegetable. If you scale this project to make it a lot bigger than it is here, it will improve the farm look of the area if that's what you're going for. Number 13, Tombstone. Have you had a dog, cat, or pet turtle die recently? Well, this is going to be the perfect add-on to your world. It's simple to make and if you have a bunch of these lined up, you can even turn it into your own graveyard.
Number 14, Pool Table. This is another one of those cool gimmicky designs that uses signs and carpets to achieve that pool table look. Like all the other items on this list, it's super easy to make and can elevate any living room you have in your world. Number 15, PvP Arena. Are you in a multiplayer server or realm with your friends? Have you not made a PvP Arena yet? It can be as simple as this one here that I'm showing. You can set up tournaments, include prizes, or even just fight for straight up breaking rights. Number 16, Leaking Nether Portal. Do you just have a normal nether portal sitting around your world somewhere? Well, there's tons of different nether portal ideas that are really cool to make, but this one specifically I built before and I really like the idea that the portal is kind of broken and is leaking some of the nether into your overworld. Here's some inspiration for you guys, but you should just build whatever your favorite part of the nether is. Number 17, Armor Display. Another really cool piece of furniture you can put in practically any type of room. A cool challenge I have for you is to see if you can make every single piece of leather armor dyed and put them on display using these armor display stands. Number 18, Pet Door. Using these newly introduced hanging signs, you can place them in front of your house, underneath a window or something, and you can actually move through them, which means your dog can follow you into your house without needing to teleport to you. A visually cool and practical add-on to any house. Number 19, Mud Bricks Chimney. This is just your classic chimney, but I think mud bricks look way cooler than normal bricks. You can also mix them with jungle buttons as well. They have really similar colors, and I'd encourage you to use this color palette in other builds as well. I think it's really cool. This chimney is just one example of it. Number 20, Hobbit Hole. Ditch that crappy starter base you got going on. Making a Hobbit Hole saves a ton of resources because you're just carving into a mountain instead of building a fully fledged house. Using the simple arch design shown in this video, it can look small and quaint, which adds to the hominess of the build. In this world, I've created much bigger mega bases, but I always come back to this starter house because it just feels so comfy. Well, you've made it to the end of the video. I just want to say thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. This was the final video I had left in the vault, and now it is finally uploaded. I'm not sure what the future is for this channel, but I'd encourage you to stick around because you never know what's going to happen. My videos are not going anywhere, so you can always enjoy those Minecraft 100 day movies. And by the way, today's lucky comment shoutout winner is going to be Toxic Owl. Thank you for leaving a comment in the last video, and if you want a chance to be featured in a future one tab video, just leave a comment down below telling me what your favorite build today was. Well, that's going to be all for today's video, guys. For the four years so far that I've been on this Minecraft channel, it's been a lot of fun. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day, and I will see you guys next time.